Hello friends of War Electro Parts. This time we're gonna check how to reset the factory settings of Wise Thin Client Terminal. In this case we are seeing a model uh, called uh, this model is called a VX0. Model VX0 and uh, we are seeing here on the label that the, the uh, long part number is V10L WTOS CPU is 800 megahertz it has a 128 uh, megabyte flash and then uh, that's the storage and then we have 512 uh, megabytes uh, RAM this is a, a little older uh, terminal thing client but still a lot of businesses are using it you know especially if you guys uh, have to keep all your um, uh, networking centralized on a server uh, this is very convenient for you know network administrators so we're gonna turn it on and then we're gonna uh, see how to reset it to factory settings uh, let's, let's do that okay uh, as usual the first thing we have to do is we have to connect or plug all the cables we need to turn it on here we have the video cable and since this terminal has a DVI uh, port on the back, we're using a DVI to VGA adapter. And then you see the green and the purple uh, connectors. Those are the PS2 connectors for our mouse and a keyboard. And oh, lastly, the black one, the black cord, is the AC adapter we are using for the terminal to power it on. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it on and then we'll go to the uh, screen to see how it boots. You just push the power button then you will have a, a red light and then it turns green. Now let's go to the screen. Alright guys, now uh, the terminal is powering on. As you can see we have a wise uh, splash screen first, the logo of the company and then the first thing we do here is uh, we need to find where is the uh, taskbar. As you can see, right now we only see a blue screen in the taskbar, but it's empty on the bottom. This might happen because the previous uh, owner of this uh, thin client probably had it uh, set up for a bigger resolution screen, and our, our screen doesn't have that resolution. So what we are going to do is we're going to uh, find first uh, where is the mouse or the cursor, the little arrow, by moving the, the mouse. As soon as we find the mouse, we just uh, left click on any part of the screen and then we will have the, uh, the options there. What we're going to do is we, we choose the, we have to choose the shutdown option on the screen to be able to reset it to factory settings or factory default. See the terminal now it's saying that uh, it couldn't connect to our network cable which is correct. We didn't plug in an ethernet cable so we just make sure we check the reset uh, the system to factory defaults and automatically the radio button gets uh, uh, clicked on the restart the system so we just click OK and then in less than a minute the terminal will restart and you will see everything on the screen you will have the your taskbar and like as you can see the display will be correctly uh, uh, showing everything with the right resolution for your uh, uh, monitor and that's it now we have our terminal reset to factory defaults and we will be back with more testing of electronics on our next video we'll see you later guys bye